nice place when we arrived. Sun was out, folks were going about their business, and for once, no dead bodies in sight. It was all crap, of course. As soon as they caught sight of us, things went to hell. Everybody in this place appears to be infected. The same glassy eyes, jumpy movements, and a real fondness for knives. A few look like the worms inside them have had time to mature. Some of them getting so large, they're erupting from the victim's mouths. We managed to get out of sight for a few minutes and come up with a plan. Don whipped up some of his favorite incendiary charges and gave one to each of us. This place seemed to be ground zero for the infestation, so we're gonna have to sterilize it. But not before doing a sweep to make sure we're not leaving anyone who hasn't been infected to burn. Henry needs to examine the source of the worms before we light the place up, so we'll need to tackle that at the same time while trying not to get carved up by the locals. Or in other words, just another word. Hey all, back to the table for turn 10 via Team Zero, the nursery. Uh, how's it looking? Well, unfortunately last round we, or last video, the lucky coin was flipped face down, which wasn't great. And that was because of a card we drew. Um, that's not gonna help us, because what that means is the next time one of our characters goes down is the end of the game. And we're sort of not doing so bad. We've got one objective is completed. We've got one or oh, another one almost completed. We just need to put another fire token in here. And we need to secure for the last one, we need to secure these three spawn points in this sector. Secure means that there's no monster in there at the same time. So we need to try and get that done. So let's move on and see what happens to the tactical phase. First thing we do, let's move the first player token on and that will go to Frank. Second one, do we want to play any tactics? Yes, I think we do. And I think I'm going to play this one. Roll four dice against each monster in your sector, inflicting brawl damage for any brawl hits rolled and ignoring its resistance. Each time you kill one, you may move to its location. So that's what I'm going to do. That's Shad. And we're going to roll against these three ones here. So we're looking for how many hits, remind myself, we need four hits because they've got increased resistance. So let's go. One, two, three, four. First one is dead. Get rid of him. Second one. One, two, three. Ooh. We didn't, we didn't get that one. No, failed. So we didn't get that one, unfortunately. That one's still alive. The last one. One, two, three, four. Just got it. Oh, fantastic. So we managed to kill two out of the three, which, you know, it could have been worse. So now it is Shad's turn. Shad is in a sector that has a burning or an incendiary device already exploded, activated. So he takes one brawl damage immediately. Let's just roll that here, and he will take one hit of brawl damage, and we will take a bullet hit, I think. Yep, we'll take a bullet. So that's discarded. So Shad will now, hmm, he will move to here, and he won't do anything else, I don't think. How are we gonna secure this? Uh, sorry, what am I doing? What am I doing, what am I doing? Sorry, just go, go back a little bit, sorry. That was the end of the tactics phase. Now we need to draw cards. Um, put that back there. So Shad can't draw any cards, but of course, Abe and Abe and Frank can. So let's draw some cards for Abe first. He needs four cards. One, two, three, four. Getting too excited because we're getting near the end. And a whole mess of bullets there, which is uh, fairly good. So we'll put those there. And for Frank, he needs to draw four cards also. So one, two, three, four. Come on, give us some bullets. And yes, finally we get some decent bullets. Bullets, 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 and a brawl attack. Okay, this may 
actually help out. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So we said Abe first, uh, not Abe first, Shad, f uh, what am I doing? It's Frank first. I'm getting confused because Abe, uh, Shad went as part of the tactical phase. So it is Frank first. What is Frank going to do? We need to get rid of this guy because we need to get these secure. So whatever happens, we've got to take this guy out. So let's do that now. Let's go all out. We'll try and keep this one because oh, I'm not sure. Okay, let's go. So we're going to use this one, this one, and this one. So what have we got? We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, no point wasting that one. So we may as well put that one back. We may as well take. No, oh, that's a brawl attack. That's no good. So basically, yes, we need to use these. Well, we've got more chance of doing it with a headshot, maybe. Are we gonna, are we gonna be using this? Because at the end of the day, that if, that'd be handy to get rid of monsters that are in our spawn point, but they're already in our spawn point, then we haven't completed, we haven't completed the objective because it has to be, has to be done at the start of our turn. But it means we do one less card. We could actually, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, we could get rid of these cards and do that. Mm. No, okay, let's do that. Okay, sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, thinking. Okay, so eight dice and we do two uh, definite points of damage. To the dice tray. Okay. Eight dice, let's roll and see what we get. That one's out, that one back in. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two, ten. And we need to get six, seven, eight, nine. We need nine, so we actually did it. We did it. <sighs> That's close. So this one is gone. Uh, Frank obviously is going to stay there because so we need to secure that uh, spawn point. That moves us on to Abe. Um, Abe sort of has to stay where he is and try and take this guy out. We have to try and take this guy out when he reaches here. So, yeah, let's go for that. So Abe will stay where he is. Because if he moves out here, he's not going to be able to get moved back in. So Abe's staying where he is. And that leaves us with, uh, actually, sorry, that should have been, Frank went first, I did Abe next, should have been Shad. Getting so confused now because I'm getting excited. Shad. Shad is going to try and take this guy out. Uh, definitely. Yes, definitely going to try and take this guy out. And we're going to use this and this. And it's gonna be, I already took, uh, sorry, what am I doing? So, first of all, Shad needs to take one, uh, one, okay, so he takes one damage. I did that before, but then I put it back again. So he takes one damage, he's gonna get rid of the, the bullet. The same one as I did last time. Sorry, you're getting confusing. Now, we're gonna attack. So five dice, two additional hits. That's what we're gonna do. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. So the two hits six, this guy's definitely dead. And then Shad is actually gonna move. And he will move Here. Yeah, so he'll move to there. He's, he's got that secure, but he's not gonna flip it over. We don't want anything bad to happen, so we won't flip it over. So that's where we sit now. I've got a feeling I've made a mistake somewhere there, and no doubt it'll come back to me when I start editing, but I think maybe we're okay, because yeah, we were here, those guys spawn there, they move into there, yeah, 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 okay, all fine. Okay, so that's where we sit at the end of, of that. So we'll move on to the threat phase. Okay, threat phase moves on to 11 and let's get these monsters moving and doing what damage they can but trying to alleviate as much as possible 
So, what have we got? Well, really, this one's going to move. He's going to go into here. Abe is going to use his focus ability and he's going to take this guy out. And we're not going to take any chances. We're going to be using all these cards. Yes, all of those. So eight dice with basically six, six hits definite. So that, that's what we're going to do. We're not taking any chances on this one. Cannot take any chances. I know that's absolute overkill, but it's what it is. So it's basically all the dice. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus then hits six, hits so like 14. Um, I mean, we could do this as brawl actually, but it makes no difference. We've done it as, as a bullet attack. And we've got six confirmed hits. So this guy is definitely dead. Woof, okay, that leaves. This guy here, who is going to come one, two. I'm not going to roll the activation die because we know his activation die would move one. His activation die would have made him move one more. So that is that. Let's go for spawning. This is where it could all go wrong. The problem area is here, because anything spawns in here, it's going to move immediately into here, which is a problem. And we've got to spawn a lot. Okay, minions first. Eight. Can't spawn in eight. Six. Can spawn in six. Six is over there. Four. Four is good. Because four is... Where's four? Why about four is... Ah! Oh, man. Okay, that means that this guy immediately moves into here. That's bad. That means we're not going to get that. We're not going to get those points secured. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's definitely what it says. Babe. Like if it spawns adjacent to a hero, it immediately moves immediately to that hero's location. But I don't think, does that count? Because it's a spawning adjacent, yeah, but we've secured this. We've got this secured. Would that work? It can't spawn in that location, but it doesn't say that. It says if it spawns adjacent, which it is, it moves immediately. So I guess, uh, which one am I doing? Yeah, I guess it moves into here, which is, uh, is that right? Okay, I can't find anything online about this and I can't remember how I played it last time, but here's my thinking. This, minion bait bag spawned in four now according to its ability if it spawns adjacent to a hero it moves immediately to that hero's location now okay that might sound cut and dried but to me i've secured this spawn point and i just think that's unfair i mean potentially i've got these spawn points secured now and i should get that final objective completed but Basically, because I'm here, I could keep getting, I could keep losing now for the next three or four turns, just going round in circles while it spawns, spawns and moves into here. And I don't see that that's correct. That's just too much random and, and look of the draw for me. Um, so I don't know if I'm playing it right. And uh, I will I'll maybe drop a message to um, Mike, the, the creator. Uh, but I don't know, I, I can't see. If anyone else knows any better, maybe I'm just completely cheating here, but this just does not seem correct to me that I just have to, now I've secured these spawn points, it's just random whether something turns up in them or not, because that takes all the skill out of securing the spawn points. So that's the way I'm gonna play it. 
Apologies if it's wrong, but that's where I'm going to play it. So that guy will spawn here. Now we come to uh, the rest. There is one more to spawn for the minions. Let's go there. That one's a nine. Nine is here. And then we've got two, two elites to spawn. Oh, I'm getting there. We've got a eight, which we can't go in. A six, which it can go in. And another one, which is an, an eight again, which it can't. And a seven. So seven is, oh, also we can't spawn in seven. So four, so four is here. Okay, that's the end of that monster phase. So join me again for the next one. Okay, turn 11. First thing we do as normal is move the first player token that will go to Shad now and then we can decide whether we want to play any tactical responses which we don't have any so we can't. So we'll draw cards. Let's draw Shad first. He needs to draw four. Is that four cards? Yes it is. So we've got four cards there. Uh, all bullets apart from one which is a brawl. And that's actually going to be quite a good one for next turn, I think. That tactical response. So let's sling those up there. Let's go to Abe. He's got four cards. One, two, three, four. And he gets uh, basically half bullets, half brawl. And finally, we go to Frank, who just wants two cards. One, two, three. And he gets one bullet, one brawl. Okay, come on, stay up there, bitch. Language. So, all cards drawn. It is Shad to go first. Nobody is in a location with a monster. Uh, sorry, with a fire thing. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Right. That was the start of the tactics phase. Now, the start of the tactics phase, it says... Uh, where is it? Let's find Sanctuary, this one. Here we go. At the start of any tactics phase, yes. If all three spawn points in this sector are secured, they are move the objective token, move the intel token to the objective. So, we have got those three secured. So that means we can move this token, wherever he is, there. There's the token, we move that to here. It also means, because of the icon here, we can flip the lucky coin, face, lucky side up. Can you see that there? Come on, there we go. Come on, let's look at that. There we go. So, lucky side up now. So, let's do that. That gives us a bit more breathing space. Okay, I don't know why the camera's going all uh, out of focus. No idea. So, where were we? So, we've done that, we've done that. We've got one more thing to do and get to the exit, which is here. So, it is Shad to go first. Shad is going to move one, two, puts him close to the exit. In fact, he will go one, two. Put him here, next to this guy. Uh, can he attack him? Yeah, he can, and he will. Shadow attack with these two. Is it worth, yeah, yeah, he will. Shadow attack with these two. So six dice. He will attack this minion. These four hits. 
three bullets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More than enough. More than enough. So this guy is dead. Yay! He's gone. Okay, that brings us to Abe. Abe is going to hot tail it out of there. He's going to go to one, two. He's going to bring us here. That's good enough. And then finally, Frank, which I think Frank may as well. Uh, no point moving to the exit straight away. Let's give ourselves some chances. So let's move into the same space so that uh, if anything does go disastrously wrong, we can uh, take care of it. So that will be the end of the hero phase. Everything's in order. Oh, hang on. No, tell a lie what we need to do. Uh, no, yeah, that's the end of the hero phase. So that's sorted. So I'll be back a second, or back in a second. And we're back at the threat phase. The overhead cams ran out of battery, but uh, we'll just press on without it. I don't want to wait any longer to, to continue playing. So we'll move the threat tracker up to 12, and then we'll start moving the monsters around. So we'll start as usual with the uh, the minions so this one will go if you can see that there it'll go one two and we know it's going to move an additional space but before it gets there Frank will take a shot at it and he'll use we're not at home to miss the fuck up now we want to get this over and done with so Frank will play five dice with two confirmed hits so We'll roll that. So five dice. Uh, one, two, three, four. We get a re-roll. Five, six, two confirmed hits, seven. So this guy's most definitely blown to pieces. Uh, let's go for the next minion, which is over there. He'll go one, two, and he'll move three. Like I said, I'm moving three spaces because uh, even if we roll the blank now, it still means the minions move. So it's always going to move the additional space. Um, nothing else is going to happen there. So we'll go for the, uh, what are they called? The consumed bait bags, the elites. So we're going to go one. Definitely move one more space. Two. Same with this one. One, two. And the final one is over here. One, two. I'll go to here. And then we just need to do the uh, respawn of the, of the lonely guy. Oh, no, not the lonely guy, we've got two. So there's two to respawn. So let's see what we've got. Wrong dice, Egypt. So we've got a one. One is over here. And the second one will be a six. And six is, where is six? Six is over here, oh, right over there. Okay, perfect. So that's the state of the board at the end of that turn. And I pretty much think we've got this in the bag, finally. Oof. So I'll uh, just catch you again on the next turn. Okay, here we are, which should be, I think, the final turn. Barring any major disasters. So, we're not going to play any tactical responses, I don't think. Um, actually, you know what? We will, just for the sake of good order. We'll first of all move the first player token, which should have gone Shadow last time. Okay, right, so now it should go to Abe. Abe should be the first player now. Shad's going to play this tactical response, which is move two spaces, ignoring difficult terrain, kill all minions and elites in your starting location and each location entered. So, what does that mean? That's Shad. Shad can go... Where is he? Basically, he can go one, two. And he can kill those. Brilliant. Dead. Now we need to draw some cards. Shad can't draw anything. So Abe can't draw any cards. He's already got five. And so let's draw cards for Frank. He draws two. 
and he's got to, <laughs> now he starts drawing his bullets that now we don't particularly need them but anyway never look a gift horse in the mouth okay so yes we already decided Shad can't draw any so what are we gonna do it's aid to go first well we have to plan this out properly so Abe will simply move back to here and he'll take all the specialists with him. So he'll move back and go to the exit. That leaves Frank, who will also move back to the exit. And now it's Shad. Shad will use an action. He's not gonna attack this guy because he's gonna use an action and he's gonna drop an incendiary device there. And then he's going to use his uh, movement to move back to the exit. And that is it. We finished, ladies and gentlemen. I managed to beat it on solo, even though I may have cheated with this thing here where it's, I don't know, but it just doesn't seem like logical to me. So yeah, we won. Um, this, obviously, regardless of what I said at the beginning of the first video, I'm probably going to upload the entirety of the first paper of this that I lost. So I, but I think I've actually just uploaded the first one of that today while I'm playing this. So let's uh, revel in the uh, glorious outcome of that. And we will be moving on to a scenario next time that I have never played before, which is the boss, the boss level of this, uh, of this uh, operation. Act three, and I can't remember what it's called, Mother of Worms or something. So who knows what's going to happen. I don't know how long it's going to be before I uh, manage to get that sorted out. But thanks for joining me on this epic adventure. I appreciate all the likes and subscribes. And uh, by all means, leave comments, etc. below in the video. So thanks for watching again and bye for now.